Sensational Sherry is ready to go here. And this is one of the toughest, most accomplished competitors in the game today, male or female. Sensational Sherry is fierce. She could be a powerhouse, a grappler, or take to the sky. Sherry brings an energy to the ring that can't be matched. Yeah, Byron, an energy that's going to leave you lame and claw your eyes out. In a word, Sherry, scary. And she's facing one of the most intimidating women in the division today, Jade Cargill. There are few who possess a championship aura like she does. Yeah, Saxon, we've barely seen everything she's capable of. It's only a matter of time before she starts peeling back the layers and we see the full potential of Jade Cargill. Sweep. These two trade encounters, an absolute master class. Side rush and leg sweep. Oh, 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 perfect form. Ooh, what a form club. Getting set up for something in the corner. Oh, right to the throat. Oof. Oh, man, taking it to the trachea. Impressive reversal there. Nothing fancy here, just raw power. That is the kind of move that leaves our jaws on the floor. Unbelievable. with one message in mind, absolute destruction. Ooh. Into a dragon screw leg whip. She shoots up the top rope. Danger. Up high. Uh-oh, got snatched up here. Textbook scoop slam. Could be some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone needs to clear out, including us. She's looking for the win. No, she kicks out. What a match. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Distress showing on Sherry's face. Sherry needs to bring the match back to her pace. She saw that one coming. Counter after counter. Oh, man. Uh-oh. We're going to see it. Power. Sit down. She just won't stay down. Oh. Jade gets fended off. Opportunity now for Sherry to capture some momentum. Yeah, but she needs to maintain some offense to fully get back in this one. Textbook vertical suplex. Bam. Oh, our bar. Oh. Jade taking on some damage. Trying to capitalize. Just breaking down the opponent. Measured knee drop. Where's Cargill going now? Lift off. Good lord. Taking flight. It doesn't matter if you're on the outside of the ring. There is no place safe when you face such a risk taker. Throws her back in from ringside.
The irresistible force, Nia Jax, set for action here tonight. She's not like both girls. Nia Jax isn't here to make friends. She's here to squash the entire women's division and stand tall in the process. Dominance is seemingly in Nia's DNA, and she has no problem asserting it every chance she gets. And her opponent, Eve Torres, has been somewhat of a controversial superstar in certain circles. People just don't like how Eve goes about her business. And to those people, I say grow up. In this business, it's every woman for herself. Eve just learned that better and quicker than most. And no matter what you think about it, you can't argue with the results. Some superstars in the back would argue that Nia Jax has a bit of an ego. Corey, do you see that being a factor in this matchup tonight? Uh, I'll make sure Nia knows that you said that about her, Cole, but to humor you, I'll admit that sometimes Nia gets too confident in her shots at success over the course of a match, only for it to backfire. A vigilant opponent will look past Nia's confidence and keep the pressure on the irresistible force. That's what needs to happen here. Looking wobbly in the corner. Hip attack, what impact. An uninterrupted surge against Torres here. Just brutal attacks coming from Nia Jax. Oh, and she turns it around. Good gravy, what a body block. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Oh, and she got out of there. A striking blow. Wow, Nia Jax throws a hard punch. Good night. Good grief. Muscled all the way up and all the way down. Powerball. No way Eve's getting up now. There's two. Got a kick out. She's not done yet. I do not know how they got up from that. Operating on pure instinct and adrenaline right now. And Nia Jax is astonished that she didn't close it out with that one. Why is she still boasting around? She's in a fight for goodness sake. And there's no questioning the abilities of Nia Jax after this display. But Torres can't allow this burst to hinder her. Torres reversing the momentum on her. She's tipping the scales here a bit. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counters on top of counters. A stalemate of counters. We've already seen a few shots delivered up in that region. Answering back. Excellent opportunity for her to shift the momentum. Yeah, she's getting a determined focus again. Torres is making clear she has her number. Sharp in the arm. STO. She slips outside. What has she got in mind? And here we go now, jumps the elbow. There are plenty of ways battling in this area could end in serious harm. Uh-oh, SOS. A rare spot of trouble for Nia. And Nia Jax in an unexpected position after some early overconfidence. Clearly didn't expect her opponent to remain so vigilant. Jax cannot be overpowered. Like a brick wall running into you. Referees count at seven. They need to get back into the ring. And she was dangerously close to a count out. Oh, there's a response against Eve. And a front slam. Simple but effective leg drop. That's gotta be it. Two. Nia Jax has done it.
Guys, many a superstar has made their name off the strength of an unforgettable ladder match performance. Think we'll see one of those tonight? Oh, without a doubt, Michael. You don't challenge someone to a ladder match if you're not looking for the spotlight. And in turn, you don't accept one if you aren't willing to take said spotlight. A powerbomb <laughs> like that will leave you with bruises and remind you of this moment for days. Measured knee drop. Oh, Ooh, stinging kick. Drops the knee. Jade looking to embarrass her opponent. This is not the time to be diverting attention away from your opponent. Uh-oh. Oh, quite an effective counter. Ooh. She was clearly waiting for that. Nothing fancy here, just raw power. Things taking a turn for her now. now that'll do some serious damage. Measured knee drop. When do you know it's time to make that key climb in a ladder match? Well, sometimes it comes organically. Sometimes you need to force it. You just need to have that instinct and presence of mind to know when it's time. Otherwise, you'll be left watching someone else unhook the prize. She'll take things into the ring. She's getting that ladder position perfectly. Well, setting it up is one thing. Climbing it is entirely different. On the way to the top of the ladder. She's making her ascent. Totally focused on reaching the top. Trying to sting a victory here. It's a bit of a risky move right here. Big time. Ooh. 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 She's looking to unhook it here. I think she's got a chance. I don't know about you guys, but this looks like quite a gamble to take at this point in the match. I agree with you, Corey. And that'll about do it, folks. The door is shut and locked, no escape. Hell in a Cell begins right now. I don't think anyone in their right mind would judge these competitors for feeling a little terrified at this point. This is a hellacious structure, and this match can punish you like no other match can. That's fair, Corey, but I don't know. They kind of look ready for this, maybe even eager, which is terrifying in its own way. Belly to belly suplex. This demonic structure seems to bring out the darkest, most treacherous sides of anyone who enters. With that in mind, Corey, how do you begin to approach an opponent inside the cell? You're right that Hell in a Cell certainly brings out the most depraved side of a person, Cole, and you can't fight that. So you just have to succumb to that deep, dark place in your heart because your opponent already has. Oh, my goodness. Just strike it at will. Just never had a chance to block any of those. Nasty stop to finish it off. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. Oh, tossed aside. Oh, I heard a snap. Inflicting more damage to the leg. The strength of Big E on display. Full focus on the face of Big E. Completely steamrolled. Two count. No, he gets the shoulder up. Good lord, scarily close to three. He's got the answer for that one. Reversal on top of reversal. Oh, John back elbow. Big E. Big ending. Is there any air left in Lashley?
big win for Big E here tonight. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamrolling. You have to pull out all the stops in this one. The damage you can suffer can be disastrous. Well, this is not hyperbole. When you're in this type of match, someone's going to get hurt, and you will not be 100% for a long time afterwards. There's one thing we know in a match like this. Things are going to get ugly. You beat the hell out of your opponent until they can't make it to their feet by a count of 10. Tornado snap suplex. He leaves the ring, and there's no countouts in this one. Seth Rollins has found his favorite equalizer, a steel chair. Face first into the chair. Oh, God. Oh. And each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taking a toll. So many dangerous attacks, one after the other, making it difficult to regain any composure. How do you approach a last man standing match from a strategy standpoint? You prepare to give and receive tremendous punishment. Nobody wins in a last man standing match. They're just one competitor who doesn't get back up. And there's seven. It's getting close. Looking to pile on more offense rather than let the count go up. Stump puller leg snap. Very effective. And the momentum's clearly against Priest now. Yeah, now Priest has to fight against the momentum against him. He's struggling a bit here. And we're deep into this last man standing match now. Every blow makes it harder and harder to stay off the ground. Jumping knee drop. So precise. Hope you boys put your running shoes on. It might be time to clear out. What a shot. And he's able to reverse. Ooh, hello. Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. Standing moonsault gets all of it. Oh, this could be something. Oh, oh. It is. That's going to hurt. Rollins just turned the lights out. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Boom! Carefully plays stomp to the arm. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. If this lands, it's over. And just like that, stopping the referee's count, continuing this match. Obviously has plans to add more insult to injury here. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. And there's seven. This is not good. And that will do it. Not getting up from that one, so it's called. Here is your winner, Seth Rollins. A big win for Rollins. Seth showing he has all the tools, all the essentials to be a top guy in our industry.